Seatbelts became standard equipment 50 years ago, and they're credited with saving 300,000 lives ever since. But still, 25 million people don't buckle up, especially in the back seat. Our Vicki Yates explains how that can be a danger to everyone in the car. 19-year-old Tyler Elsey and his best friend Harrison were going for just a short ride. They were in the back seat, no seat belts on, when the driver lost control and crashed. All were killed. It's a scene that's difficult for his mother to relive. Tyler and Harrison um, basically became projectiles. Their heads hit each other. He suffered multiple skull fractures. Not wearing a seatbelt can make you a lethal weapon. It's estimated a quarter to a third of passengers in the back seat don't buckle up, with young people being the worst offenders. That's many more than don't buckle up in front. People may think it's okay to be unbelted in the back seat or skip the belt altogether if it's just a short trip. Well, that's just wrong. Most fatal car crashes occur within 25 miles of home, and being unbuckled in the back seat increases your risk of dying in a crash to three times what it is if you have your seat belt on, according to the Governor's Highway Safety Association. And unbuckled passengers in the back seat also can pose a danger to people buckled up in the front. Unbelted passengers in the back can be flung forward in a crash with such tremendous force that they can injure or even kill the people in the front. Suzanne started a website called CruiseSafe.org to educate kids not to do what Tyler and his friends did routinely, skip the seat belts. These four kids, who were all really good kids, just graduated from high school, and in an instant, they were all gone. Vicki Yates, News Channel 5. And it's not only lives that seatbelts can save, it's estimated that medical cost and lost productivity due to accidents involving the failure to use seatbelts has cost the U.S. about $10 billion.